great science fair, you have to come up with an idea, finalize what you're gonna wanna do, and then get it approved by the state. You go from there and run your project for a certain amount of time so that you get results. From those results, you come up with what your project accomplished and then compete using that information. I knew that I wanted to do something environmentally because pollution is along those lines of things that need tackled. As I went down the path of research, I discovered the English ivy and how they're using it in a lot of indoor spaces to improve air quality. And I wondered if I could use that to reduce pollution from controlled setups. Okay, so in these front two tanks that are closed off, I have my wood smoke pollution and I've been adding wood smoke into the tanks and then duct taping them shut so that we can confine that wood smoke into the inside so that all of the different levels of air pollutants that would be exposed in wood smoke would also be exposed to these plants. And in one of them there's an ivy and one there isn't and we're just testing with this monitor inside what the parts per million of carbon dioxide are. When I think about learning science, what I'm most excited about is doing the hands-on learning. My science project, I wanted to focus something on the ocean, so I was thinking like pollutants. And I decided to go on the route of microplastics. The more research that I did, I found that the majority of microplastics come from synthetic fibers that come from our clothing as we wash it. Then I decided to make a microfiber filter that goes on the outflow of our washing machines. Okay, so basically what I'm doing right now is I'm collecting data and I'm determining which oil picks up microplastics better. And the way I'm doing that is I mix the oils all together and then putting the water after I've mixed them together with the microplastics putting it in the petri dish, letting it dry, and uh, counting how many microplastics are in each square. And then I can multiply that number by how many squares that we have to tell uh, how many microplastics were left in the water. This summer when I was paddle boarding, I pulled my paddle board out of the lake, and on the back side there was a ton of snails just attached to the paddle board. For my science fair project, I used general multi-surface cleaners to mitigate the spread of New Zealand mud snails and it's an invasive species that affects most of Idaho's waterways. And then from there I wanted to test six different cleaners and see if they would have the same result or a similar result. After we ran the statistical analysis we found that all six of the cleaners when compared with the control proved to be significant so we can say that they do mitigate the spread of New Zealand mud snails. Growing up, I was, I usually found myself playing a lot of video games and tend to always be interested in anything that kind of had to do with the computer. My science project is effects of temperature on learning. Basically, I'll test a class at different temperatures and see how it affects test taking ability. I'll give them like the practice I set test as well as a verbal and visual memory test. The main reason I signed up for advanced integrated science class was mostly to establish like a baseline for research projects I might want to conduct on my own. Actually doing the science is I think more important than a lot of people realize even here at the university level when you have a lab at the university or a project in high school it's giving you the opportunity to actually apply skills that you're gonna need in the future. I've been lucky to have my interests align with potential careers in engineering. And that's not the case for everyone, but if you're interested in science, it probably is. Mr. Bass is sort of intimidating for a lot of the students because science is hard, his classes are certainly the hardest that are offered at Granger High School. But the more time goes on, you learn that, yeah, the class is hard, but he's always there. Science, that is like my top interest right there. When I first signed up to be in the advanced integrated science class, I was terrified because I've never really done research like that except for doing a volcano, erupted, using vinegar, baking soda in elementary school. <laughs> But this one I knew was going to be way more advanced and I've heard about other people's projects and what they've done and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I 
have the brain to be able to think of ideas like that. But it was just kind of fun because we were in an environment where you had other people that were like doing research, like figuring out the project. So with Mr. Bass, he's been a great inspiration towards me in becoming a teacher because most of the kids that take his classes, he treats them as a person. And so I want to be the teacher that kids remember as I get older. And like they help me grow as a person, not just my mind in school. I've gotten some awards, Regional Idaho Science Teacher of the Year. And, but I think the one recognition that I got that meant the most to me was from a former student who took the time. She emailed me. She said, Mr. Bass, I just, I was thinking about you. I just had to tell you this, that I was in class the other day. And I was competing with all these people that were talking about AP this, AP this. I had AP chemistry, AP biology, all this stuff. And she thought, well, I'm gonna be overwhelmed. She said, then we did our first lab. And she, they said, she said, they were all overwhelmed. I knew exactly what to do. I knew how to figure all this stuff out. And so afterwards, our professor talked to us about, you know, what was your experience in science? And she said, well, I came from a little rural Grangeville. I had a science teacher who had about a three to $500 budget to teach six different classes, but he would go out and bring stuff in for us. And we did labs all the time. We got our hands on stuff and she said, I just wanted to thank you for doing that. Completing the science fair would be a success in itself. I mean, I completed a project that could potentially reduce microplastics in the ocean. Northern Idaho Science and Engineering Fair goes to Grangeville High School. <laughs>